Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the British Campaign. It's still 1915, it's November, but uh, China has woken up and chosen violence. Uh, no, you may not have a battleship. Um, also, Spain is attacking Morocco and all sorts of other things going on. Anyway, uh, in terms of the fleet, I decided on Leviathan and Behemoth. Uh, for the ships. Uh, Leviathan's currently suspended because I'm still building the Courageous class and the Revenge class, uh, which is taking up quite a lot of the dockyard space at Rescythe. Uh, but once Courageous and Furious finish, uh, I'll be able to uh, assign it, I think. Um, yeah, we've got a little bit of spare capacity, but not a huge amount. Um, I am continuing to expand the max shipyard size, but really... This is what I want to expand, but you can't do that directly. Um, Politics-wise, uh, we we're seeing a big post-war boom. Uh, Austria-Hungary is kind of still in the doldrums. Germany is uh, <coughs> having some issues. Uh, they built a nice little fleet, though, so when they inevitably get annoyed with us, we'll uh, be able to uh, blow that up. Uh, Italy has actually recovered quite well. Uh, they, they built, they're building quite a big fleet. Um, China apparently has 90 destroyers. So that's a thing that's happening. Uh, the legendary difficulty, the AI is quite good at uh, bouncing back quite suddenly. Anyway, we have the Dominions down here in Singapore uh, ready to go. Uh, what we can do... Off, straight off the bat, though, is just take every single ship we have and put them onto sea control. Uh, the next thing we can do is to uh, take the fight to the Chinese. So we have a fleet here in Plymouth. I'm going to order them to head to Oman because China apparently... Owns Omar. Oh, is it too big? Uh, too many, too many ships. Right, cool. And then we have Ajax as well. Uh, Ajax. Uh, head. You're not going to fit in Singapore. Um, head for Madras. Going to take up station there. Uh, the fleet in Portsmouth. Uh, I want you to head... For, oh my god, China. What the hell? I haven't even been looking at this. Uh, it looks like uh, France has uh, chosen quite a lot of violence and so have the Soviet Union. So I think that means if I get some ships up here into the East Asia uh, theatre, I'll be able to blockade them. So off you go. One fleet. Uh, there's not much in Rescythe, but we do have some stuff in Scarpa. Can head over as well. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> just send it. Just send it. <laughs> you uh, you want a conflict? We'll give you one. Right, uh, I'm going to end the turn, and I'm going to see if uh, and then pops up. Battles we get. Um, the HMS New Zealand has found this. The uh, unpronounceable class battle cruiser with four 12.2 inch guns and 53% armor quality and a top speed of 21. What is this ship? Because the, the New Zealand here, this is the 1915 version of the Dominion, has four 12-inch guns, so actually pretty fair. 22 knots, pretty fair. <laughs> I was able to get their speed up a little bit on the refit. 130% armor quality, though. Um, okay. Sh sure. <laughs> Should be interesting.
New Zealand versus China. And look, <laughs> look at those modern, <laughs> modern secondary guns. Uh, Hopefully not a ghost battle. I am on uh, 1.3.8 now. Um, the balance mod from 1.3.7 seems to still work, however, so we're good. Um, oh, it's that garbage hull. But there's a battle cruiser hull. Ugh. Not a fan. Oh, I'm target looking, lovely. I put it on HE. I don't mind losing a couple of HE shells. counting how many salvos, but I know it's going to be stuck. Which is fine, we'll just pepper away with the, the six inch guns. Right, let's have a look at you. 21.7 knots. Yeah, many bulkheads cramped. Pretty bad lo uh, weight offset. Reduced beam. That is terrible armor. Harvey armor, Jesus Christ. That is bad. You still target locking? Yeah, we are. Yeah, don't, do not try and fob me off and tell me this is not a bug. That is definitely a... This cannot be intended behaviour. Surely. And yes, I know, I'm using the balance mod. Um, so, the reports of limited usefulness. But I know that the balance mod doesn't change this. You see it in vanilla too. Um, it is annoying because we've had about... I mean, it pops up every now and then. This issue. Especially in 1v1s. Um, and. You know, it's been a problem on and off since like Alpha 6 or something. And sometimes it's fixed, sometimes it's not. Um, and yeah, I, kn I know it's not right. Because if there was another ship, I could, fi I could clear this. 
this has been what? How long? Sailing in a straight line at a constant speed. Just. Yeah, it just doesn't fix it. It's not like the uh, battlecruiser over there is doing anything particularly fascinating. Yeah. So we fired every single HE shell. Every single one. So, actual accuracy, zero. Oh, we finally hit them with a 12-inch gun and they immediately sunk. <laughs> yeah, annoyingly it doesn't show you on the post-battle screen how many shells uh, the ship fired uh, for each gun. But yeah, two hits. Two. Out of that ho for that whole battle. That is... That is crazy. Anyway, there's another fight to do. I'll load that up, and uh, I'll see you there. Here it is. Uh, the Pop Voice has found a whole bunch of destroyers <laughs> escorting a single transport, which is um, a thing. Single transport in a storm. Lovely. Hello. I wonder what the range on their torps is like. Oh, it's good. Okay. Don't want to get too close then. They have a severe advantage in this weather. I sit on one of the destroyers. Reload. Nice try. Yep. 
Yeah, they carry uh, two twin launchers with a reload. And tops are the 19 inch. Uh, oh, they increased as well. Oh, that's annoying. Dual launchers reload fast enough that that's kind of annoying. Gonna have to uh, just stay at a reasonable distance away. Slowly work our way through them. We got 90 of these things. Ugh. Down. Really? You think the transport's over there? I don't. I'm going to end the battle. No sign of the enemy. No sign of the transport. Took out three of the destroyers, though. Pretty good, because that was basically an ambush on the poor boys. Poor old poor boys there. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end the turn and stuff, and I'll be back when there's some more action. Okay, it's the next month, and poor boys is back in action, uh, along with the uh, Perth, which I think is another Tribune class. It is, yeah. And we've got the Krishan, a way class battleship. Eight 10.8 inch guns. Slow. At least it has a little bit better quality armor, but still not exactly impressive. Um, so it looks like the Chinese <laughs> fleet is basically consists of rubbish. Um, well, that's that's good for us, I guess. Um, let's have a look at it. What? <laughs> the hell? Oh, it's so fat. <laughs> it's the. F oh, that is hilariously fat. <laughs> oh, why is this a single gun? Oh, my goodness. Tub. <laughs> Tub class. Oh my goodness. AI is just outdoing itself in this campaign. With garbage quality ships. Oh my word.
Ooh, did get a hit there. Let's have a proper look at you. Uh, stand up, kids. Yeah, oh, there's nothing to write home about. Especially if it's only Crook 1. Better than Harvey or Compound or something, but it's not. You know, we're on Crook 4 by this point. Perth, um, keep the battleship entertained. While uh, Port Boys focuses on the transports. Perth lost their casements. That's annoying. I'm not expecting to be able to uh, take out the battleship with uh, a couple of protected cruisers. Might be able to uh, keep her at bay though. While we have free reign to sink the convoy. But yeah, if this thing comes up against anything in its weight class that we have, it's probably going to suffer. Excellent teamwork. Both ships you can withdraw. how bad this sh <laughs> ship is. Uh. Oh. They're turning to try and pursue us. Bit late. Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. Right. Um, yeah, well, I guess I'll see you uh, in the next turn. <laughs> uh, Port Place and Perth. <laughs> Pretty much the exact same battle, but again. Convoy escorted by a... Tub. Struggle to call it a battleship, really. Um, yeah, by a, by a floating tub. <laughs> and uh, there's some transports around, apparently. Oh, they did bring a destroyer this time. It's maybe slightly, uh, slightly better. Wow, something has taken a lot of damage. And something sinks. Cool. Transports. Yes, yeah, good. Target lock. I must have sunk a transport earlier on. See? Fixed. By targeting the destroyer instead. Such a, I feel obvious bug, but yeah, getting it fixed is just not been happening. Oh, poor boy, what happened to you? you take a ten-inch gun. Yeah, you did. Whoa, whoa! How the fuck is that a safe shot? <laughs> Jesus. Destroy it. Right, head transport direction.
<laughs> cool. Should be able to finish off the last transport. There we go. And both ships bug out, end the battle. Smashing. Lovely stuff. Right, there's another battle to look at. I'll load it up and I'll be back with you. It's the New Zealand again. Uh, she's found another one of these things. Um, sure, let's go. Uh, Target lock. Told you. So common with this layout. Do 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 aiming. Progress went negative and is now stuck. Ship cannot progress. Anyway. Turn the guns off. See, now this is one of the occasions where I do wish <laughs> I was recording this live. Normally, uh, playing Ultimate Admiral campaigns, um, I I've stopped doing them live because, to be honest, I'm cutting a lot of uh, a lot of stuff out. Uh, it's easier for me to do as well. Um, I can record at any time that I'm free. Um, and the episodes are just a little bit you know, better. There's less of me doing what I'm doing now, which is waffling. But uh, when I have to waffle, <laughs> it is nice to have uh, chat to waffle with. Uh, it doesn't mean I've stopped live streaming. Um, if you are interested in watching me play other things, um, I, I do a variety of different games. Um, on both YouTube and Twitch, same time. Uh, it's not a particularly convenient time for people to watch. <laughs> if you're watching this, according to my YouTube analytics, you're probably an American, um, or possibly European. Um, however, or maybe you're from Canada or New Zealand or Australia, but. Um, it's not exactly the convenient time, the afternoon in the UK, to stream. It's basically the graveyard shift. But, um, hey, if you're an insomniac or you work nights or something, um, yeah, I, I'm probably online. <laughs> right, let's see if... Uh, yeah, there we go, now it's, now it's aimed. Now I've got a lot closer and can fire both guns at it. But yeah, it would it would have just thrown all of the shells away. Otherwise, go nice hit through the casement.
out his secondary tower. Still just chipping away, really. Hit the secondary tower again. Come on, give me an actual proper solid hit. Finally, a flooding hit. Turning away now. Doing the AI yeah, thing where she's. Uh, I think she just activated the retreat command. Oh, that hurt. No, oh, I'm target walking again. Fabulous.
torpedo might make them turn, but probably not. Yeah, I will know that that's going to miss. Got a hit. Because <laughs> the base accuracy is so high, it doesn't matter that we're not aimed. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Doesn't make much sense, but there we go. New Zealand claims another Chinese junk. Uh, back to the map. Looks like New Zealand's found yet more things to uh, deal with. Uh, and she's backed up by the Canada this time, which is nice. Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, hopefully she's had... Nope, she has not had a chance to uh, completely refill her ammunition. She's got most of it back. Canada, this is the full complement of ammo. So they're just low on their HE. I don't know why you're sailing like that. But uh, sure. Let's go. Might as well turn your guns off and save yourself the bother till we're able to get a bit closer. about ships being more aggressive <laughs> like they, they don't have a great chance to hit either what range are we even at 12 kilometers but for ships like these that is uh, quite a long range Use six inch guns. Pepper away at them. So we're in a bit of a better position. Guns do a surprisingly good job. Uh, the uh, Chinese armor is uh, really not up to much. Right, let's uh, give them some of the big ones.
Oh, ammo deck. Superb. It's on the six inch guns, but still. Oh, that was rude. Get my main tower. Yeah, she's retreating. Take it, the uh, battleship. Kind of hilarious that we are actually fighting like a breeder or not. We've even hit once with 12 inch guns. Oh, yeah, we have once or twice. Okay. But yeah, we're basically chipping away with the six inch guns. <laughs> hitting vulnerable stuff, and eventually a 12 inch shell might find them. Oh no, because we're target locking again. Now, I'll point out no change in course. Uh, ladder. Aiming went. Zero percent. No change in course. Two ships. Same parallel. Right, and here we are on times one. Target the battle cruiser that's all the way over there. No oh, pause. And then, target the battleship. Now, look, ladder aiming, 4%. And angle, and then, da -da 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 -da, fixed. <sighs> oh, Canada's doing it too. Pause. Uh, we'll target the hot. Back to the Kajam. And. Oh, it sank. Never mind. But that would have fixed it. Um, well, after the battle cruiser, I guess. How fast is she going? 11 and a half knots. We will catch her, and we will sink her, but it's going to take a while. I'll see you on the post-battle results screen. Here we are. Uh, Canada got the last shot, and uh, yeah, two more absolutely trash tier ships sent to the bottom. Um, and at the end of the turn, let's see what we have in the next month. Welcome back. Uh, Canada, Port Poison and Perth have found uh, two more Chinese junks uh, to deal with. Um, these fights, I wish I wish I could just tell them to start closer, but there's only so much you can do. Something uh, times five? No, times ten. Come on. Maybe we are starting closer this time. Be nice. And they can see me. Okay, just because they can see me doesn't mean they're anywhere near me. <laughs> I 
Um, I have ordered a naval invasion to begin off Oman, and we have the fleet there to do that. Uh, I was just for a second a naval invasion, and it looked like it popped up over Hong Kong. So it's possible that the Chinese are attempting their own offensive operation that we're going to have to break. Um, obviously, I am sending ships over, but uh, they're still on their way. Uh, I'm just going to... No, I was going to say I was going to break the episode, but there are the enemy. Right, turn your main guns off. No, not you. Uh, you. Because you'll just expend all your ammunition. Yeah, I'm just going to break break the episode. I'll be back when we're in range. Welcome back. We're finally in range. Uh, Canada, you can activate your guns. And you immediately target lock. But there's two of you. So, haha, -ha, joke, joke's on you. Right. Cruisers, up you come. Canada firing a torpedo. Taking out the fire control on the Weisheng. Yeah, she's turning. Hit the Nyan instead. Oh wow, she's just flooding out. Damn! 12 inch gun just obliterating them. Do you take a hit there? That's a whole lot of nothing. Again, nothing. It's my salvo hit chance. 70. Okay. Oh, there, there's a hit. Bit of flooding. Torpedo out. Just forcing them to swerve. get a hit but uh, eight penetrating hits in return that has pretty much doomed her I think torpedo into her from the Perth seals her fate Poise and Perth back in action. Another um, <laughs> another convoy to attack. Uh, the Chinese did launch a naval invasion of uh, Hong Kong, but they don't have any ships headed for it. Um, as far as I can tell, at least not enough. They need 50,000 tons uh, minimum. So... I think I have to worry too much about that. In fact, I think their invasion fleet is heading to counter my invasion fleet, which is trying to invade Oman, uh, which is interesting. And uh, the other fleets that are arriving to uh, enforce the block... Oh, for fuck's sake. To enforce the blockade um, are, are on their way. And uh, yet another title. Just... Aiming stuck at zero percent. Multiple shots, no progress on the ladder. Do 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 Well, I'm going to cut the episode because it's going to take me ages to get in range. Uh, see you in a bit.
Right, finally in range of something. Um, and also now that I can see a second ship, <laughs> I'm able to fix the target lock. It is this little uh, destroyer that's making an attack run. A couple of flooding hits, very nice. Hmm, they fired their torpedoes, but I... Oh, I see them now. Fine. I'm trying to screen this off from the transports, I guess. Yeah, this type of ship. I mean, it could be good for defending a convoy. If <laughs> you kept it close to the convoy. <laughs> if you get it to move away from the convoy. It's pretty feckin' useless. Because it doesn't have the speed to get back to the... Just, just maddening. Oh, yeah. Got the destroyer. Right. Let the transport slaughtering begin. Transports, wow. All done. Good stuff. <sighs> well, uh, <laughs> yep, Canada and South Africa. I found the uh, Yongfu and the Huizo. Um, I've also got ships arriving uh, all over the place, uh, and that means that. China's now blockaded. <laughs> um, it's not great for them. But uh, yes, we have this fight to do. I'm, I'd am i normally press fight and then go through the fight. But having seen a few of these, I'll be back when Canada and South Africa are close enough that they can actually hit something. Welcome back. Uh, we've worked our way up to be relatively close. Uh, so I'm going to switch fire to the Huizo actually, uh, and we're going to put the guns on save because I think we're just about close enough. Might be able to ha get a chance of hitting. 
Most of your six inch guns doing the work though. Peppering away. Oh, there we go. 12 inch shell got a bit of purchase. There is no sinks. Took a hit on the funnel on the South Africa, but I think she'll be okay. Another hit on the funnel. Those shells do hurt. Ballastite and Dunite. Yeesh. Okay. <laughs> yep. I mean, that'll pack a punch, but ow. 9,990 damage. Basically sinks it. South Africa getting uh, angry. Good work. Speaking of repeat battles, <laughs> poor poison Perth. And just like I did with the last one, I'll be back when poor poison Perth have snuck past the battleship and are sinking the destroyer and about to sink transports. Well, we found the destroyer anyway. Uh, should be able to get it. Dumped our torpedoes ready. Both sets. Flooding it. That's all you need, really. Oh, some torpedoes, too. I'll make a jink. Hiding in a smoke screen. Couple hits. That ship's actually stayed relatively close to the convoy this time. It's nice to see. Oh, it takes a big hit there. It's a six inch. Yeah, six inch gun. Firing on the destroyer, would you? Torpedoes can be sent the battleship's way. Away a little bit. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to have her retreat fully. Always can finish the mission, I'm sure.
Ding Ding Shen. Cool name. Sorry, we have to sync you. Torpedoes coming in on Porpoise. But uh, I think they'll miss, and we're just going to end the battle. Lovely stuff. Right. I think I'm going to end the episode here. There's been a lot of battles that kind of see me, but yeah, Perth and Porpoise absolutely dominating. Uh, and New Zealand as well, just against, yeah, very low quality opposition. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode nonetheless, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.